our top story tonight, a new basketball pavilion and entertainment venue could completely revitalize downtown Waco. The massive project is a joint venture between the city and Baylor, at least that's according to a post by Mayor Dylan Meek. Six News reporter Matt Lively gives us the details. Since 1988, more than 10,000 fans have been able to attend Baylor basketball games inside the Farrell Center. Those days seem to be numbered with the city and the university creating plans for a new basketball pavilion. We're excited about it. We can't wait for it to, to get built and open up and uh, we'll, we'll be there for the opening game. Baylor alums John and Jeannie Bell are in favor of a potential basketball pavilion that could be coming to Waco's riverfront. The project will be discussed during a city council meeting on Tuesday, where approval for $65 million in economic development incentives could be put towards the project. A local report from the Waco Tribune Herald states that the project will cost around $185 million. The new pavilion, which will also serve as an entertainment venue, could seat 3,000 less than the Farrell Center. Have a hard time parking here when there's a full house and be harder maybe to get a ticket at some point for some games, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Mayor Dylan Meek is excited for Waco's future, saying, quote, there is no city in Texas ripe with more opportunity from our local entrepreneurs, artists, and small businesses to corporations like SpaceX and Amazon. Waco's economy and culture is on the move, end quote. The Waco Tribune reports that ground could break by June and that the project should be finalized around 2024. More details will be available after the city council meeting on Tuesday. For now, in Waco, Matt Lively, 6 News. All right, thanks, Matt. And again, that city council meeting is tomorrow at 3 p.m. City officials did opt not to make any further comments until the conclusion of that meeting and will, of course, have all the updates for you tomorrow on 6 News at 5.